from March 9th to March 30th, the Queens County Arts Council is having a month-long exhibition featuring visual artists Sally Clark, Rick Kahn, and Joan Newby. The exhibition is called Wild Domestic Wearable. This is our third and final interview in this series. If you want to see the other interviews, you can go find them on YouTube at qactv.com slash YouTube. All right, who are you, please? Sally Clark, and I am um, here tonight, but I'm also a representative at the, the Artist Gallery in, in Chestertown, Maryland. And I've been a member there for uh, seven years. And if you like my work, you can see more of my work in Chestertown. But I have other five partners. So You have a wide variety of styles here. Tell us about them. Well, I'm a former art teacher. And when you're a former art teacher, you explore all kinds of mediums. And I've been very interested in across the board, uh, mixed media, oils, watercolors, collages. And uh, because of that, I've been exposed to so many different uh, medias that uh, I'm challenged and mm. so I, uh, I'm presented with a subject like the crabs that you see here before. Uh, it's watercolor but it's also mixed media because I mix a newspaper in there, a little foil, a recycled material and um, just how I feel. You know, this is how I want to do the composition. Um, is uh, the chickens here or it's just totally watercolor? <laughs> But it, it depends on the focus I want to do. But uh, I'm because of, I, I've been a former art educator and I've uh, explored all kinds of media's. Um, it's 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 fun. You can't just stop one place. You don't. You, just you keep do, moving on. Yeah, you just don't do oils. You just don't. I, I love across the board. You know, in compositions. The composition is the most important thing. Well, a lot more animals than I've ever seen you show. You're usually well known for landscapes. Yes, I love landscapes. I love perspective. I love buildings. But uh, you expand yourself. Which is harder. It's all hard. Now you all you you're always looking for new horizons, new places to go, new approaches. Uh, I love buildings. Uh, I've done them for years, but. Uh, I'm into mixed media now. Uh, you want to be involved with the process. Uh, you want to see it evolving. Uh, but I also love perspective. I love buildings. But um, I'm trying new things. What are you working on right now? Uh, right now I'm working on um, an interesting uh, subject with uh, uh, vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> so we have landscape, we have animals, we've got veggies. Yeah, the vegetables are uh, into a um, interesting composition. I'm into composition where I have, uh, it's watercolors, but it's also ink. It's all into, it's going to look like a quilt right now. It's just, um, I'm into structure, I'm into composition and, uh, and, and the movement. And so it's very different. Um, so, we, so we went to your studio now, we would see a, a bowl of fruit or something much more complicated? Actually, the gallery now, I have um, very traditional works, uh, but in the coming months, I'll have something different. No, I'm sorry, I yeah. mean, I mean where we ask this. In your studio, where you're working, oh, where I'm working we right see now. a bowl of fruit and, you know, or it's a multi-layered approach? Uh, right now, I'm working from a photograph that I took from a farm market, uh, like a market, mm -hmm. like in Chestertown, the farm market, of uh, vegetables. But I didn't want it to present it as just vegetables. <laughs> I decided to do a complex composition using ink plus watercolors and a composition with... Uh, Getting the uh, lines and spaces uh, just opposed to other spaces. Mm -hmm. So I made into an interesting composition. It's, uh, it's just Did it surprise you? No, I'm always reaching out. I'm always trying to do different dimensions. Um, yeah, I'm always uh, moving beyond the horizons. 
Just a reminder, the Wild Domestic Wearable Exhibition at the Queen's County Arts Council will run from March 9th to March 30th, so head over to Centerville and check out some of this art. If you want to learn more about the Queen's County Arts Council, you can always visit their website at www.artsforyou.info. Special thanks to Jeff Strait for doing the interviews. Special thanks to Jeff Strait and Andy Hearn for taking some of the photographs that were used in this video. Speaking of Andy Hearn, next week sometime we'll post her interview with Zachary Smith and the Dixie Power Trio. Until then, thanks for watching. Thank you.